And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and to everybody on YouTube for some Jeskai Kaikar in the, the standard shakeup event. Those of y'all that are new to the standard shakeup event, this is basically best of one standard, but with all of these cards over here banned. And so you don't get to play them. And so just a lot of the best cards in standard are gone and uh, it makes it a little more fun. You know, you get to just kind of play some different stuff that we wouldn't normally play. Our next deck that we're going to be playing, though, here is Jeskai Kaikar. Let's submit that deck. Um, to show the deck, this is what we got going on. Um, we're, you know, building around Kaikar Winds Fury. So this is a 4-mana 3-3 flyer. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create a 1-1 one, one spirit creature token with flying. And we can also sack a spirit to add a red. So red spells are, are definitely valuable because of that. Um, and so, you know, like that's what we have. We have tons of instants and sorcery spells. To go along with Kaikar, we also have Murmuring Mystic. That's also whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, create a bird. So we can create birds and spirits and by casting a lot of instants and sorcery spells. So that's what we're trying to do here with all of these. Um, this is a very fast format, though, <clears throat> or just a lot of aggro because it's best of one. So we got three Flame Sweeps and a Clarion in the main. Flame Sweep is even more valuable because um, because it doesn't deal damage to your flyers, and that's what our deck's about with all these flyers. Also, uh, we do have the ability to you know go wide with our flyers, and so if we are going wide and getting a bunch of little 1-1s in play, we have Harmonious Archon at the top end that whenever we play it, we can just turn all of our 1-1 flyers into 3-3s and hopefully finish the opponents off pretty quickly with that. <clears throat> uh, we got a God's Willing to protect our Kaikar. Other just kind of removal, counter magic, a little bit of card advantage with like winged words and chemistry's insight. Expansion can just kind of do anything, uh, whatever we need it to, and then explosion can draw a lot of cards in the late game. Just a lot of cool stuff that we get to do here. So yeah, we have we have explosion as far as an X spell for for sacrificing spirits that we could do that. Um, that could happen. So let's let's give it a try. Maybe a little slow for best of one. With this format but that's what we're going to be doing here we're going to be playing some brews and uh try out some some different stuff in this shake up event <laughs> nice nautilus yeah that definitely happens Let's go ahead and keep this. We got the Flame Sweep against Aggro. We got an Opt. That'll help smooth out our draws. That was not the best card to draw. Shock is good. But I kind of want to land for Flame Sweep. Opt is good also. We don't have white mana. But maybe I should have kept that. Steam Vents is also not white mana. So we're taking nine, going to nine. The shock would put us down to seven, but we can sweep the battlefield. I don't think there's really any reason to wait besides just more fervent champions. But I feel like maybe we could get punished for waiting with something. I don't know exactly what. I don't want to risk it. Midnight Reaper. That's a good card. If 
There's no Ember Cleave in this format, but that's really the only card from their deck that would be banned. I guess Murderous Rider and Bone Crusher Giant you don't have those. Looks like they probably have the... There you go, that card. The Order of Midnight. Alright, we got our white mana. Could Clary on, but then they draw two cards. I'll just have Justice Strike and Ionize instead. To the raid. Welcome everybody. We're playing a lot of uh, standard shakeup today. Get that lifelink murmuring mist again. It was not a dangerous block because I had Ionize. So yeah, even if they, they tried to Black Lance Paragon, I, I had Ionize. I didn't need to be worried about it. All right. More like Jeskai and Murmuring Mystic. But of course, that, that was all about having that Flame Sweep. This is kind of like a, this is a pretty rudimentary format. It's a lot of aggro decks and sweepers. You're going to build a deck with Murmuring Mystic and the new Octopus that spawns the tentacles. That sounds sweet. Uh, this doesn't really seem like a Flame Sweep matchup, a Boreal Grazer. So I was thinking we have like Lava Coil on two and then we could like, exp we could go like Opt and then Copy Opt with Expansion. Oh man, I wish I, I wish I had Expansion available for that Beanstalk Giant to copy that. Let's shock this in. Rainfly woes! Tomorrow, yes, there's absolutely room tomorrow. Um. Yeah, what slot do you want tomorrow? First, second, third, or fourth? Rochian! So do I want to copy or negate? I think I should copy. Do you know what I just kind of realized? I'm getting red, so we have double red for explosion now. But do you know what, what I just realized? I don't have a sideboard here. I should definitely have a sideboard because of... Do I have two lands to go grab? Ooh, barely. I should definitely have a sideboard because of um, because of Fae of Wishes. And I have expansion. I can copy Fae of Wishes. 
Like, yo, know, when they do Fate of Witches granted, I can copy that, and then I could go grab a card from my sideboard. Gotta be ready for the... When your opponent... Cast Fate of Witches, and then you counter it line. Underutilized line there. Not playing Murmuring Mystic here cause, because of... Basically because of Fae of Wishes, I need to hold up Vito. This Beanstalk Giant's gonna kinda kill me. I can, you know, get some birdies and jump. No, did it just auto tap both of my white sources? It did, didn't it? Wow. That was, that was pretty rough. It can't be countered, but obviously we're casting our spell because we get more birdies. Yeah, Mono White is, um, yeah, yep, DZ, yep, DZ. Uh, sent y'all on over here. Mono White was awesome. Very good. Our one loss, we mulled a five and... Still had a chance, but the second sweeper got us. Whoa. Well, if I would have... You know, if I would have just been able to Dovin's Veto that Fae of Wishes the first time, we would have been in a lot better position, because now they wouldn't be doing this. I mean, that was... <clears throat> That was what cost me that. All right, one on one. <laughs> Lasso ramp. I mean, I got I got punished with that auto tap. I mean, I guess that's that's what it was. It was the auto tap. It wasn't that I didn't comp counter it. It was because. Because that auto tap got me. Um, I think I just keep because of flame sweep with this format. Hey, Arcs! Happy New Year! Um, saying, is it worth it to craft craft Esper? And if yes, tell me. 
from which Esper unit you must craft. Um, I would say if you can, if you can wait, I would kind of recommend waiting because in two weeks, uh, I guess 15 days technically, but two weeks we're going to have a new format. You know, like we're that's when Theros is going to enter, and so we're going to have new cards and decks are going to be a lot different and and so whatever you craft right now may not be good in two weeks yeah yeah i mean the yeah the auto tap got me i had i had the mana up or like i wanted to but i you know i was talking with chat and stuff i didn't pay attention yeah the auto tap got me i had the double veto but it, it got me Yeah, this this hand isn't great. <laughs> this hand did not get better. By your side, I am always ready. It not only got worse with my opponent playing a deck that Flame Sweep didn't really help against, but then um... Yay. Rivapa, thanks for that that three month resub there. I appreciate that. Mm, a quest of mystery. Boo. Roll of Science is probably going to kill us. Not going to lie. All they have to do is remove this Kaikar, and then we're in a whole lot of trouble because they get to ultimate Royal Scions. Too much loyalty. My plan is crystallizing. That's a card I need, Prison Realm. got to see Kaikar's animation three times this game. So, worth. So we take nine, go to nine. Gotcha, okay. Um... Um, I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure what, like, the best Esper list is to, to craft. Honestly. I don't know. I want land drops, but I don't know. Maybe I don't really need land drops. I was thinking about casting the chemistry inside main phase and then being able to play land and play veto. Good hand, GG. Kaikar is not going to win them all. They got that one.
This has a whole bunch of Esper decks. If there's any that, that stand out to you that, that look really cool. Um, I honestly don't know which one would be the, the best out of them. We do need a threat. Tranquil Cove. I'm not sure I really like this hand against Tranquil Cove. Oh. Not control. I guess I don't have a removal spell for the 2-3 now. I guess playing the coil. Just a strike doesn't kill the 2-3. The reason to do that right then and not let them untap is because of Rally of Wings. Even though the high, higher upside play is waiting. Welcome back. Nine awesome months. Keeping that Twitch Prime sub going. Thank you, thank you. I get to start first sub goal of the day. So I am a little worried about Rally of Wings. I don't know, I kind of like just holding out the veto. Rally of Wings wouldn't save their creatures from dying. It would have just been good against me trying to block. Match doesn't seem so bad if we can survive long enough to get a Murmuring Mystic in play. Getting a whole bunch of burbs. Look at the little birdies. My pal's like, but that's my plan. Getting a whole bunch of birds. That game? Not yet. So I'm kind of waiting to get, you know, like next turn I could explosion for two to draw two. I think I'd rather have explosion than expansion. Not a bad draw either. I 
basically gave them the opportunity to block then rally if they wanted to do that. This is pretty, it's, it is a pretty unnecessary explosion. I can just pass and like, you know, I have a, a hand that's just fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, what else are they going to do with the Sky Tether? Just take away some tokens, I guess. There's not really anything else to do with that. Harmonious Archon for the win! Awesome. Get that cool animation. Turn all these things into 3 threes. Well, that's a cool way to win a game. That was cool. Yeah. Like, we were going to be winning that either. Or, like, anyway. So, like, we didn't really need that, but that was cool. <laughs> I totally forgot that was a card. <laughs> oh, oh Brainfly, so what what, uh, what time slot do you want me to play your deck tomorrow? First, second, third, or fourth? <laughs> Standard Jacob. You thought this was limited. <laughs> First? Okay. No gargoyle for you. So that's what we're doing. We're just shocking. All right, I'll shock. Hey, you didn't shock that time. We're shocking. Didn't you get the memo? Gain life. It's like the opposite of what we're doing. Discarding Thrill of Possibility because Thrill of Possibility getting countered is very rough. Hmm. I want to have six mana, you know, so I can like play Kaikar or Mystic and then have Vito available. Ideally. Boo. Yep, jamming one so the other can live. That was three lands and an opt. It's like exactly what I want to be drawing. All right, so get two of these instants and sorceries back. I mean, it's got to just take two counter spells, right? Drown and please. We know that resolves through the Drown and Please, but they obviously can just have the Drown that kills it. I 
But with seven, also with seven cards in hand, you know, I do kind of have to play stuff. Otherwise, we have to start going to discard anyway. No draw four for you. I wish I could expansion that. Cost four mana, why can't I expansion this? Ready for something cool? What are that? They're at thirty five. What am I at? I'm at less. I don't know, like, I could have, could have just, you know, like, copied the Bond of Insight originally so they don't get to cast it. Instead of casting another expansion. I wasn't sure exactly which way I wanted to go there. Twenty-seven twenty. The problem with Ral is Ral does kill me pretty fast against the mill opponent. <clears throat> That's kind of the problem with Ral right now. See what the wind blows in. I'm down to fifteen.
want to peek. The weight is killing me. So they can cast two counter spells, which I have covered. So Ral ult. Deals. So we have to play four spells. Four spells would make me draw eight cards. So I have to be careful about that. One spell. Two spells. Yeah, draw and damage happens at the same time. Three spells. They need they need to be able to make me draw at instant speed here. Thought Collapse? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Thought Collapse actually kills me. That actually kills me. Yeah, I'm dead. Hmm. Guess I should've just let this resolve. I mean, I can counter it, but they just counter the drown on the lot. They just counter this. No, see, I couldn't let the thought collapse resolve either, because that mills three also. So yeah, no, I'm I'm dead. <clears throat> I guess it's a draw. Yeah, I guess it's just a draw. We both lose. Should have let the... No? Like, that wouldn't have worked either. It's a draw. Yeah, because we both lose at the same time because they take lethal damage and I draw a card when I don't have any cards left. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I could have been slower there. I don't know. Yeah, so I could put 2-2-1, two, two, but that just kind of adds more to it. I'm just going to just keep it as 2-2. Two two. Yeah, it was a great game there. I could have tried. I don't think that would have really worked, but I could have tried. Hawkeye's all curled up. That's about the only card I would have kept over a land drop. Because I need land drops right now. But obviously a slow Asper deck. Dovin's Veto is a premium. That's not what I was expecting. <clears throat> That's not what I was expecting at all. Shine Chaser. Everybody knows when you have a key, you're looking for a shine. Yeah, they really are flooding. The problem with playing Rouse, I don't have Ionize up. Also, I need one more mana. It's like a cool animation. So, Alayla has Death Touch. So I can just go, I can Justice Strike a Layla, and then because of the Death Touch. It kills it. So I still have Ionize available because we can sack a spirit for a red mana. Choose wisely, because the other one's going bye-bye. Thrill Possibilities is pretty nice with the spirits, also.
Here are my three red floating mana. Still have Ionize available in case I need it. Okay. You got Double Cry and a Quench. You got me. You got me. Just want to peek. The weight is killing me. Guess in the the Ral's still gonna take over. Okay. It's good. I guess I could opt. I guess I could have opted and see if I hit a, a counter spell. Probably should have done that. Let's see if I would have hit a counter spell. Unfortunately, that's just target creature and opponent controls. I can't, I, don't know, I can't really do anything to make them get rid of their eagle. The search for the unknown. That's real science. Obviously, we're very close to killing them with Expansion Explosion, also. three and two. No, my opponent said GG also, so I said GG back. Rena two, happy new year. Happy new year. And of course, happy new year to everybody else in here. Hope you're enjoying some fun decks. That's where that's what we got going on for for the next little bit. We're gonna be playing some some sweet brews. Including Jeskai Kaikar. Jeskai Kaikar is our, what we're doing right now. Playing seven games with each one. So we'll play two more games here with Jeskai Kaikar. Nice, Oregon Crete. Playing the mono white formation, crushing with that one. Awesome. Hey, real GG's there. Yeah, sorry about the flood. You drew so many lands. So sorry about that. So 
But no resplendent angel in standard. I don't know, I could regret using that. Oh, we got a temple. Perfect. If we didn't draw a land, I was going to opt to to look for a land in case we hit, hit a temple also. I was going to play that first. I'm going to just keep the op now because of Kaikar. I don't know what this Bishop of Wings is doing in here. But besides that, it looks like a Boros aggro. Boo. Tribunal, not cool. Um, we're playing... Oh, I'd never updated the deck list command, did I? Why didn't anybody say anything? We're playing 24 lands in here. You know, we have, like, the the ops, and... We, we have some, some stuff that kind of helps hitting land drops. There we go. Oh, y'all think this is a Divine Visitation deck? That's possible. My plan was to double block the bishop, but then after drawing the lava coil, I guess I'll just I guess I'll just coil this bishop and then flame sweep. I know, pulling a bishop doesn't feel great, but no, no, it's true. Trying a two mana spell for a two mana spell, I guess. is cloudy with a high chance More of cards go kai car go yeah i think y'all are right this definitely looks like divine visitation you need more control yeah yep y'all are right <clears throat> good call, good call. Don't worry. I brought company. So twelve was unpleasant. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I or let's see, I just have oh I have Castle Embereth. That's right. Choose wisely, because the other one's going bye-bye. Castle on breath. Oh, we got a we got a harmonious Archon win, and now we have a Castle Embereth win. And we had a Rao Ultimate tie. This has just been a sweet league. And we've had some cool games here. Uh, 
Right, I'm gonna mulligan this. On the draw, five drop, six drop. No removal. I'm glad we're playing against Dismal Backwater. Oh, we drew Flame Sweep. I was gonna say I, I don't, <clears throat> I didn't like my chances against a fast deck with this hand. Now I wish I would have just got the veto. We are going to need more lands, but it's like it's pretty likely that we draw more lands. We're also going to need threats. I think it's less likely that we draw threats. Well, how about that? We drew a threat. Wish I would have kept that land now. Yeah, could I just draw like my bottom two cards that I scryed from my next two draw steps? That'd be nice. Like they missed a land drop as well. Surprised that they missed a land drop. They just didn't cast Opt on their turn. Ugh. Main deck duress. Okay. Never mind, the we will draw more lands thing didn't happen because our, our card draw spells didn't resolve. Still. So it looks like we're both just going to be activating Castle, looking for more stuff. Um, I want another land so I, I can protect Murmuring Mystic with Veto. Um... I guess we're gonna take out take another backup threat. They scribed both to the bottom both times. Thanks, Crux. Yeah, oh you're welcome, Ray Day. Yeah. That was a that was a good league. Uh, into the story was awesome. Don't like my chances here. I do have a murmuring mystic in play, I guess. And then I about to untap with the nine eyes. So I don't know, but they just have like infinite cards in hand. Ooh. All 
Alright, hit a land. Just need a land. Oh, not a temple. Need a regular land. Ugh. I guess I could have kept Tranquil Cove up. Because the bird was going to be the red mana for Ionize anyway. Boo. Well, it's the third one of those. Okay, yay, we got to untap. And now we have God's Willing plus Ionize. So now I think that we're in a wonderful spot. That is still four cards. I don't think we let him have it. Dang. Attack. So they're down to eight. Is Citadel too late? That's their fourth drown in the lock. Negate. Hmm. I guess that's checkmate for the murmuring mystic. We just cast this as a 1-1. One, one. I don't think so. Seeing their main threats be Thief of Sanity and Wrinkle. And Flame Sweep's good against both of them. Okay. The little birdies. All right, so we went five and two with Just Guy Kaikar. And we had that really cool draw. So yeah, this deck was fun to play for sure. Um, you could definitely put a sideboard in here. Um, if you're playing in best of one, if you want to be like real tricky, um, because, you know, we had an opponent play the granted part of Fae of Wishes, and then you can copy that with expansion and then get to your own sideboard. So that could be something cool to do. But yeah, Murmuring Mystic, Kaikar, we had just a lot of really fun games. You know, like we had the, we had the game that was the draw where we ultimated Ral. We had a game where we went wide and then Castle Embreth finished them off. We had a game where we went wide and Harmonious Archon finished them off. Um, but for the most part, yeah, it was about staying alive. Flame Sweep was awesome. You know, just getting a bunch of little 1-1s one that were kind of difficult to deal with and, you know, have the counter spell back up and all that kind of stuff. So cool. How'd the draw work? Because uh, Ral Ultimate dealt four damage to my opponent, which killed them. But then I also had to draw two cards and I had no cards left in my library, so that killed me. So, so the, the emblem killed both of us at the same time and so we got a draw <laughs> so that was pretty cool all right uh jeskai kaikar fun deck all right those y'all watching on youtube uh leave those comments let me know what you think of the deck and everything like that yeah leave those comments hit the like button as well 
and hope you check out some of the other standard shakeup videos that we're going to be doing. We're going to play some Selesnia Elves up next. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.